y'all, my name is Taquisha. This is our freedom song, and I am so happy that you are here. Said I am slowly but surely clearing out the greenhouse. It is time. We are past our final frost date, which was March 27th. We did not get a frost. So unless we get some kind of crazy late frost, we are in the clear. The greenhouse is still very full because we have to start taking out some of these tomatoes, but I actually started with peppers. Just this morning, I came out and I got to it. I fixed me a nice cup of coffee in my beautiful mug <laughs> and came out here and started with the peppers. Originally, I was not going to start with peppers. I was going to wait until about a week after I planted tomatoes to plant peppers. But y'all, these aphids are insane. Like so, so crazy. I did not want to put the peppers in the greenhouse because I don't want aphids to spread all in the greenhouse and get on the tomatoes or any flowers or anything like that. So I was like, you know what? I guess today is the day. <laughs> Crazy because our peppers have been incredibly healthy. Like I was so surprised to see about a week ago when I brought them outside, um, I sprayed them down, but I was just so surprised to see all of those aphids came from the soil. And so I would definitely make sure that I am pouring that boiling water on the soil from now on whenever I plant. I would definitely be doing that going forward. So next year when it's time to start seeds, or even in the fall, I will make sure that I am pouring boiling water all over that soil to make sure I kill any eggs that might be sitting in there because I do not want another aphid infestation. So I do have a plan for these aphids. What I've done, I've ordered ladybugs because I heard that ladybugs um, are really, really great for aphids. And because we have such a large amount of of pepper plants that could possibly be infected or get infected from the pepper plants that's sitting next to, I wanted to go ahead and order some ladybugs. So I've heard some good and bad things about it. I've heard people who got ladybugs and then the ladybugs just left. But listen, these ladybugs can leave after they get their bellies full because there are so many aphids that they can feast on they are going to have the biggest lunch dinner breakfast that they can have and when they're done they can fly away and find the next meal i'm okay with the investment of <laughs> the ladybugs i still actually have more to plant so before i get to this i want to show you what i accomplished this morning okay so this is where we started the beds are ready to just be filled up the blue bed needs to be cleaned out but here we go so i have so many pepper plants to plan out i'm really excited about it um i'm not excited about the weather <laughs> the temperature today is actually the day that i need to get these peppers planted out so i'm just going to plant them and then hope for the best So I have everything set out. I did start to plant, but I was just trying to space these. Yes, these are aphid eggs. Look at those. So crazy because it's already, <laughs> we're just beginning. But I'm hoping that the ladybugs will be here soon.
so I had a friend share some peppers with me and one of them is called the lemon spice jalapeno and the other one is called pumpkin spice jalapeno and I am so excited about a pumpkin spice anything even in the spring <laughs> gave me a Caribbean red hot which is supposed to be like one of the hottest peppers and I'm really scared about this pepper because I mean we're not eating anything that hot <laughs> so um, that would be an experience for sure I only have one of these so I think that's all one would need how many spicy peppers do you think that I am planting in this space right here. I would love to know what your guess is. So, so far I have three beds planted out with peppers and I still have about 22 spicy peppers to go so i am about to plant those but in order to do so i need to harvest i need to harvest some cabbage as well as some collards to make room for the peppers So now that all of our spicy peppers are planted, I want to start to plant our sweet peppers. I did begin, but I still have so many peppers left to plant. And so I'm going to try to do that before it turns dark. I would feel so accomplished today to get all of these peppers in place and planted. Thomas actually did get more of our garden shed together. I no, I say this every time, but I'm so excited about it. Like we talk details today. And so it's just, it's just going to be exactly what we need in this spot for all of our garden things. Like I want to store 
our extra pots and things like that in the garden shed and also like shovels and rakes and all the things that we need to you know manage a, a large garden or any garden for that matter it's just going to be so convenient and so nice to have an organized space for all of those things to go Okay, so this is where the door will be and then we'll have some windows in the front I think we're gonna put our big window over there and then some smaller windows on the right and then Thomas is actually going to make an entry on the left side so that we can come straight from the yard into our garden shed and then we're also going to store all of our supplies for our chickens inside of the garden shed as well and then those two big containers back there they are going to be behind the garden shed and that's where we are going to be collecting our rainwater now that i gave you a look at that let's go plant the rest of these peppers currently i've planted 74 spicy peppers in this area i'm feeling really good about it um like i was saying I'm a little feeling some kind of way about these aphids, but hopefully we get that taken care of sooner than later. I love this process of like where we are in our journey right now because I'm learning exactly what our family needs. And so 74 peppers, that's a lot of spicy peppers. But last year we ate so many pickled peppers, y'all. Like it was insane and, it, and everybody loved it. It went with every meal, it was like a condiment, you know, it was just like so, so good. And so um, it was just good. Like I really, really, really loved having the peppers. Um, and so it'll be a part of what we eat. So yes, 74 peppers is a lot, but then we'll see. We'll see if we need 74 peppers next year. I won't know until I grow 74 spicy peppers to know if it's way too much or how we feel about that. Just did a count and I have about 82 more peppers that I need to plant. Um, and so that's exciting. <laughs> Isn't she so beautiful? So gorgeous. Okay, so I was able to plant out the remainder of this bed and start on the other side over here. I'm thinking peppers on both sides of the teepee and then in the inner part is where I'm going to plant our cucumbers. So cute though. I just imagine all of the green all around and I'll be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Go ahead and remove our pine straw from the tops of these beds as well as the front of here. So all along the back, I'm going to be planting tomatoes, the back indeterminate and the front determinate tomatoes. And so I wanna get all of this ready and prepared to plant is fading fast so I need to get on this really quick.
So I'm going to be planting some different bean varieties that I've never planted before. Um, this is a pole bean and then this jade is a bush bean. I'm also going to be planting these scarlet emperor beans which are so cool so I'm really excited about these. Okay so I actually fit way more peppers in this bed than I thought could fit. Once I started kind of measuring between each section I was like you know what I'm gonna go with it and then I'm probably going to fill in with some type of flowers uh, marigold probably it's probably going to be marigolds but you know I could change my mind in 10 minutes so in this bed I planted the King Arthur um, the Takis new ace jimmy um, nardello i heard really great things about the jimmy nardello pepper and so i'm really excited to try it so i didn't really want to plant sweet peppers on this side since i planted so many spicy peppers but i'm running out of space so i have to do what i have to do uh, this is a banana pepper and this is a banana pepper as well I'm about to plant this hot biscuit amarath. I planted it last year and had one way taller than me. I thought for a while it was a sunflower and was totally mistaken. And so I cannot wait to see this beauty grow again. I feel so accomplished I just feel so good about it I do I'm it's it's always such an amazing feeling whenever you grow your food you do your starts and then you get to put them in the ground like that is accomplishment right there and I'm so excited about seeing what it is that this year brings and fruitfulness also lessons because I know that there will be plenty of lessons to learn okay it's a part of the journey I know I know I know um, but I am looking forward to all of it I'm, I'm just so grateful so thank you again for joining me in the garden today and I will see you guys next time